I read Liliana's report. Her people infiltrated the League of Assassins targeting you. The contract on your life has been destroyed. You should be safe now. And thus we outwit the House of Repose. It's an unpleasant business, but you're safe now. I've no doubt that the guild was staffed by vicious men and women, Inquisitor. It's simply... Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer. Bards entertain the Orlesian court. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. I don't imagine many firstborn heirs join those ranks. No. I was a rather foolish exception. During one particular intrigue, I encountered the bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You've drawn a clear enough picture. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. From bard to diplomat is quite a change in direction. I was headed down that path for some time already. That night merely crystallized it. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. You were taking on a league of professional assassins. I suppose I'll forgive it. <laughs> You've done much to help House Montillier. And should you ever visit Antiva, stories of the welcome we'll give you will be told for years. <laughs>